Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to Mosey Round. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today we're on Dralim Desert. It's weird as you move the camera over this little uh, patch. <laughs> it moves up and down. We're on Dralim Desert with another Pro 1v1 match up in the north. We have the Cyan player with a China Vanilla. This is OE Marikar. All the way down in the south facing him today. This is the purple player. Bit inactive at the moment, but this replay is a few months old. This is the uh, GLA. Which is Reznov. Or Sup Reznov. Probably was a Clan Wars game and both were their clan tags. OE versus Sup. Pretty normal build order. I think out of both players, Marikar opting for a barracks first and then going for the oils. If you watch Marikar over and over again, you will notice he really likes oils and will often go for them. So you should be very aware of that and try to maybe go for your own oils, but also deny. Um, Marikar his. Because I think straight away, if you if you get one or two oils in the in the early game, and you're a strong player like Marikar, I think it sets you up to uh, to win the game. I think just being stuck on two supplies versus a player who's on an oil, it really puts the pressure on you straight away. Marikar there with a truck rush, kills one of the uh, workers there building a tunnel, which is Reznov. Worker re-dropped off. Technical moves in. He's going to see this, but is his brain going to say go left and also deny that one? Because it is a big moment. He's actually going to go into the base. Oh, he's risking going down. He is risking it. He's risking everything. Hits the... the just the gap. Marikar's not going to move his stuff. Oh, it was actually a bad hit after all. Why, why didn't he use another terrorist to kill that other truck? Yeah, weird stuff going on here. <laughs> weird, weird stuff. Marikor also sending a half-dead flamer to his death. Would have been better just to... Just to go back, I think, rather than give the XP. I suppose you could say there's no chance of it escaping though, once it had gone past there. Maybe it should have flame walled there, actually. Second one is going to flame wall. But the important thing is that Marikor's already got the top left oil. I like the way Reznov is on it straight away, though, with a, with a quad. But Marikor is going to grab himself a second order. So the pressure is on Reznov. Although he has established himself a third supply very, very quick. So his economy is not half bad at all. Marikor now opted for a second uh, war factory. He has not repaired his uh, supply fully. Reznov could get an opportunity here to grab himself a super tech. If he takes that gat down, then comes in quickly with that technical and might be able to grab himself a super tech, but Marikar is moving his weak unit back. He's looking for the mines, and he's going to go into the exact same position, but this TNT is going to hit, and everything dies. War factory, supply, gat, and technical, and the four terrorists, all dead. Really, really decent hit there from Reznov. Combined with his third supply, it is decent. And he's took out that top left oil. So, yeah, I'm liking this here from Reznov. Top place. So, Marikov coming in. Probably suicide and a gat to kill a quad. Uh, was it worth it? Um, it's about even, isn't it? Your, your gat costs 800. His quad is 700. Do you want to be one for one trading as the China? Even if it was bang even. But Marikov's grabbing himself a second oil. This is actually Reznov's oil. And this is just going to be denied. Reznov has secured himself the bottom right oil. Although not captured yet. But he's got um, a tunnel there defending it. Uh, a technical comes in. And it is a TNT. Oh. Just kills the Doge running truck. Because that... that um, that gap was cancelled, but more importantly, though, he's grabbed himself a super tech and finished that truck. Uh, also denying out oil. So Marikov's just on this one oil, but he's taken a lot of damage, lost a lot of units, lost some trucks. I think some of the trucks losing losing them unnecessarily, like that one over there earlier. Although it probably is minor. Super tech almost going down. A bit risky there for such a powerful unit. Uh, I definitely think that's worth going back. You do not want to risk losing that. Does grab himself this tower. Kills himself another gap. If he can pick up that scrap, there's a chance he might get a vet too. Oh, no, Mar Oh, man. I hate seeing people waste a super attack. It's so easily like that. What was he even doing? Nah, that annoys me. It just annoys me. It's such a powerful unit. It's like a... It's just, it's just like an unstoppable unit against China Vanilla. 
in the early to mid game unless like helixes and migs come out and stuff so yeah but i'm um, saying that though reznov's still in a good position it's got tunnels pretty much everywhere reznov is playing on a, on a high level in this game there is absolutely no doubt another technical comes in deck rpg let's survive is there a scrap the knife from marikar yes there is there's a helix out now as well and Marikar's on uh, thin ice here. He's on very low amount of units. He's getting hit here at the front. Reznov is just performing super, super solid. Apart from that super tech thing, that, that did annoy me in case you didn't guess. There are two helixes coming in now, though. I wonder if these squads are going to be able to take any down. Certainly not when they're running away like that. They do less damage when they're running away. You want to stand and fight, especially with that Vet 1 quad. With, that, with those three quads, especially with the Vet 1 and those RPGs, I'm pretty sure you could have took out a Helix there. Look how low that is. So that is a, another little mistake there from Reznov. But I think he's still in an okay position. I can hear another building being captured. It's the bottom right oil. And the middle oil by Reznov. Reznov's forgotten about this supply. Could do with a few more workers on the, on the left supply. Technical coming in now from Reznov. It's a tech RPG. A bit ambitious to try and hit that oil, I think. Yeah, a bit of a weird tech RPG there, to be honest. But he did lure, lure out uh, two gats, and he tries to get himself a super tech again. Marikar in with the scrap denido. Oil now being hit. Gats coming in to defend. Reznov is going to evacuate on the situation. I don't know about them helixes engaging that amount of quads. Oh, bit of a range bug going on there. He should stop that because that's probably classed as abuse. Yeah. Uh, I'm not convinced Reznov was looking away there. I think that's abuse. As soon as you see that bug happening, you should click your quad somewhere else and and, uh, and stop that from happening. Sometimes it can just, just happen. I won't explain exactly how that's happening because I don't want people to abuse it. But if, you, if, if that happens like once by accident, then okay, fair enough. Sometimes that's going to happen, but if it happens like for a good five to seven seconds like that did, borderline is abuse, I think, and it happened then again, by the way. Yeah, Reznov, from my experiences, is like a super fair player. Like, he doesn't normally... Uh, I've never seen him abuse anything or cheat or even be nasty to anyone. He's always... But look at this, man. Look at this. What are you doing? <laughs> So the quads are shooting at like double their normal range. That's what's happening. Marikar must be getting a little bit annoyed at that. Big quad pop here. The helixes are on top of it already. One helix might fall. No. No, no, no. No helixes have fallen. But Marikar, I think he's running a little bit on empty because he's been kicked off all the oils. He's not collecting from here anymore. And that attack was a little bit uh, dicey to say the least. Almost losing one of his helixes. But like... That, that's all he's got. These three gats, these three helixes, and then that's it. He's about to mine out in his second, so he'll only be collecting on that. Marikar has gotten himself enough XP, though, to level three. Level three support powers are better than um, the GLAs. The Chinas are better because you get the artillery, carpet, mines. They're all pretty powerful, and he's going to use it to take out this oil. I think that Marikar should have let that carpet land, though, before firing the carpet. It's pretty lucky that the quads didn't pop and take out the carpet. Otherwise, Reznov could have saved his oil. Marikar is still applying the pressure, and he has re-expanded now in the middle. Oil is being hit. Oil is taken out. Reznov now expanding here, but the worker seems to have either yeah, stopped or died. It's, it's actually stopped. It's just there. So maybe Reznov panicking a little bit here. Although I don't think there's any need to panic. Maybe he's not panicking, actually. He's still got a decent coverage of tunnels everywhere. He's got himself a palace. He's got himself a fake market. When that completes, you get worker shoes and AP ammo, and you basically become indestructible for the China Vanilla. Tower gets force fired down. Battle bus now moving in. Three helix is still supporting. There's no um, subliminal meshing. Battle bus is wrecking things here. 
one of the Helix Spores. I think this composition now is just too strong here for Reznov. Marikov is really giving it a go here with the China Vanilla, but he's about to lose all this ground where he's just re-expanded. Uh, I was about to say maybe these chain guns, but he's actually already got chain guns. So his gats, one for one, are stronger now than the quads. Until the quads get AP ammo, then it's a more even fight again. But that battle bus is a problem. Like, if, if Reznov just camps that position... He... Pretty bad engagement there for Rez, uh, for, for Marikard. Does he? I don't really know what he's doing engaging into that battle bus. Maybe he just feels he needs to hold on to that position, so he's got to try something. But that was about as bad as he could get, and Marikard has been defeated. Yeah, the stronger army you won there, which is GLA. Defeated. I think was Marikard playing at his 100% best. It just like his first first unit was the truck that got the kill on the worker. That was decent, but then the first flamer. Just like walked past the tunnel and took like 90% damage on that. Actually, I think killing that first tunnel with that flamer would have been good. But I think it's because that weird TNT happened in Marikor's base. Marikor was also slow to move the trucks though, so he shouldn't have lost that first truck to the terrorist either. I think he's actually lucky he didn't lose two trucks. You could say he's even lucky he didn't lose the whole supply. <laughs> but yeah, it was like two weird TNTs, wasn't it, from Reznor? The first one didn't work out even remotely decent. Second one annihilated that supply and uh, and the War Factory. Super Tech wasted by Reznor. So there's a few little mistakes in there, but overall, I think that was an entertaining game. But yeah, the Stronger Army won. Marikard didn't really look formidable uh, like in mid-stage of the game, although he did look, it did look pretty strong when he had like two oils, I think. He got two oils at one point. But uh, overall, yeah, Reznov, too solid of a performance from a GLA, and the GLA always really should win. So, yeah, let, let me know what you thought in the comments. Do you like this map as well, by the way? GG, well played, and I'll see you in the next one.